Carl? No, this must be a trick. Wada is my poison. Does the job, right? No, I don't get to use the excuse of, well, I was drunk. That's why I did that. It's like, nope. Always sober. Always sober. Remember. Oh, wow, these are, these are not the minions we were looking for. When it comes to the minions you wanted, these were not them. And loses to Micro Mummy, loses the Risen Rider, beats Thorn Captain, loses the Scallywag, loses the Mana Saber. I think, I think it's actually mistake. Well, at least if I decide to go three on three, it's easy. It's still a little better than Sunbake. Secretly Vodka? Yes. It's Vodka, the new thing. No, we stayed away from that. We can't have stuff like that. And I play incoherently. Wait, we both made mistakes? Okay, this is kind of a beautiful thing. The frills and gills flag. So he should tier because ETC can't do anything on tier one. There we go. Since it says he has undead, he can only have Risen Rider or... Actually, there's the other thing too. What is it? The uh, the Rot Hide no one takes. We do lose to Rot Hide, but we do beat Risen. I was always... When I did drink, and I used to drink a lot for a long time, a very long time. It basically uh, fueled me through World of Warcraft was whiskey. I was always Jack Daniels. Wow, we, we thought we had a bad minion. Well, never mind. At least he didn't make a mistake. I know, I know, I'm sorry. Ooh. So we lose this fight basically all the time. But if we can do this with an eye to the future, question is, do we try to ris uh, Corpse Refiner, or is that a disaster? It's probably a disaster, but... I guess that's fine for now. I'm gonna freeze for the spawn. I think spawn's good enough to justify its existence. Oh yeah, I've, that's all I drank for years. I mean, I've been to the distillery a number of times. I was a huge Jack Daniels fan. But I was a drink for effect, not for flavor type too. I don't know, I stopped a few months ago. Go left, go left, go left. Oh, we lose. I stopped drinking a few months ago. So, I just, I think I've had like one drink, maybe two in the last few months. And that's after like 20 years of heavy drinking, so. Ooh. Oh, you bastard. You offer me a pair that synergizes perfectly, but a spawn that also keeps me alive and a Scarlet Skull, I need to go f Oh my. This is super awkward. I'll freeze for the pair. It's early enough. Ooh. Sounds expensive, my friend. Sounds expensive. More than I should drink. All right. This is this is helping a little bit. No, no. I need this. Oh, he won't kill anything else. It's limited. Yeah. A bunch of the limited edition Jack Daniels bottles, so. I'm just trying to stay alive. Trying to farm some gold, not having any luck. So considering the lobby, it's going to be beasts that probably win it. Murlocs have a good chance. Pirates, if they high roll right. Quillbore can do the job. And undead, if you find an Uberak, you have a prayer. At least there's no mechs in this game. Whew. No thank you for me. All right, we went first. That helps. I was going to say, the longer it takes him to hit the pirate, the better I am. There we go. Well, the, the one particular pirate, I should say. Oh my god, he keeps hitting it. Go right, all the way to the right. We lose. Damn it. Can't even get the tie we're supposed to get. What a 4,000 I'm going to open when I get my second. There you go. That's a good thing to save for. Nothing wrong with that plan. All right, basically everyone's going to four because four is where the winds are. I just need a gem splitter. I don't really need to go to four. We could triple into a five or a four. Honestly, I like fours for considering what I need. All right, let's see what we can get.
I love a champion of you, Sarge. If I had a bl I had any way to use it. Primal Fin does nothing for me. Jug buffs things I don't want to buff. It might be the champion and just see if we can get a taunt lined up. I mean, there's Undead and Quillbore. You'd think we'd be able to get something going here. But Jug is right off the bat. Six stats. We need the tempo. So as much as I want to go the other way, I can't. And there's nothing I want to shield, so... I need to tier next turn. I can't. None of those are my win conditions. Had one of 7,600. Oh my God. That was a treat. Did you buy that one for yourself or did someone donate that one to the cause? All right, good. That'll die now. So at least we're farming out some gold now. Even if we're getting high rolled out often. All right, with tie, but we get the gold. That's the first tie, too, so. My own buy. It's a little late to be going Yorel, I feel. But we have Undead. We have Pirate. We have Quillbore. We have a spawn. That or we take the tad for the economy, and that's about it. But you know what? We already have economy in the refiner. Tough Tusk at least gives us a blood gem with the divine shield is what we need. We're up against Millhouse, who's already got a triple. Yeah, let's just go for it. And there's still nothing I want to divide shield with my hero power. Oh, painful. Uh oh, that cleaves a problem. That hit was the worst possible hit. So not only do we lose and take a bunch of damage, we get no value out of our gold farm. At least we killed the five. All right, we lower the damage. Can we hit the cleave now? Go left? Yeah, or take extra damage. Okay. And you should, right? Considering the nature of what you do for a living, there should be some... Ooh. Okay. I mean, we got something buffing our blood gems. We got this. But we really need to... I think we just need to let the refiner go this turn if we keep, to help us find anything. A toy for my favorite customer. At least I finally have something to hero power. Oh, and there it is. You know we're going to die right now because there's the gem splitter. I know we can't actually die now, but you know we're going to get murdered because there's the gem splitter. So it's, that's supposed to be here on the 11th. Quests are all supposed to arrive on the 11th. We're going to get spanked here because there's nothing we can do. Guy's board is good because it's Tess, and Tess got buffed today in so much that they raised her armor. And killing that tier six would feel great. No? Maybe not? Maybe we don't want to kill that tier six, right? There we go. All right. So we lose to a tier two and a four. Ugh. So damage still high. Those quests look cool, though, right, Death? What do you think about those quests? I was pretty excited about them. All right. We don't get the dead guy. We get the other guy playing Quillbore who's getting murdered. You're right. There are other fish in the sea. No, I want to lose the spot on Nazoth, not pick up another. Oh my, these are pretty bad, huh? So we could lose the spot and pick up nothing. 
So we're just going to roll. Oh, where were you a second ago? That would at least be some blood gems for us. And if we froze for it, it would be hard to make room for, and they're kind of shitty attack. And that feels a lot better if we could survive. I don't know if we could survive this. We'll see. Damn Dutch assassins out there. All right, we're only dead a third of the time. So while we have direction, we weren't lucky enough to get the dead guy. Our opponent sure was. Our boards are pretty similar, but he's just a hair stronger. 5-2, then go left. All right, either way, we survive, I think. 3-7, yes. Oh, death, yeah, the rewards are kind of crazy, but if you look at quests, there's some other just as insane rewards, so that doesn't surprise me too much. All right, good. We got cards we want. Now I can divide shield some stuff and get this board going finally. We don't need the thorn collar, so we can say goodbye to our thorn collie friend. At least we've got the dead guy this turn. I'm tempted for the 4-4 four, four also, but I feel like that might be too greedy because we're gonna we need some offensive quillbore also. He would give us a couple more blood gems, three a turn. But we already can fill the board with divine shields and get sick and get seven, so. Well shit, because we've got two. Yeah, we're all set, so. Do the friendly fire thing. No friendly fire. Oh yeah, hit all my shields, Mr. Cleef. Hit the right top. Not all the way the right. Oh no, he might not kill enough. There we go. All right. Hit this top. Right here, this top. No! Well, he did buff the attack, so I guess it wasn't the end of the world. Yep, my line of work, Steven, was nothing as interesting. I just did cable for 20 years. Not as fun. I do kind of like the champion of Ysarge, as it will scale quite a bit with the divine shields we have, actually. We'd have to drop the thorn collar. I don't care about that. I can fix issues people often have with it. Yeah, death, I definitely can. There's, there's lots of common problems people have with their service they don't realize. I certainly help with that. There's also some potential in that shop right there. You know he's going to have a cleave, because he's a pirate board. So we kind of need to play around the cleave as much as possible. He's got one cleave, it's okay. I'm really thinking about next turn doing Necrolite Thorn Collar, uh, Necrolite Blade Collar. All right, I think we're significantly stronger than this now, so. All right, he pulled out a, yeah. I mean, the Leroy helps him, but it really helps me because it just made it so I got my shield reset. Like he, pu he puffed my attack. Oh, actually, wait, maybe we do lose this. No, we tie. Ooh, okay. Closer than I thought. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. There's nothing else like it. I am really thinking about it. I just bought the, the champion of Ysarge, who's going to scale a lot. We could save the Necrolite for when we find a triple two, and just for now lose the Tough Tusk.
And yeah, we can move the gems later and just have the value now. The only downside is now our dynamic duo doesn't get a buff when we cycle these. But since our attack is plus five, plus two already, I think we can afford a little bit to go some bonkers here. We could have fought a triple, I just could have cycled immediately with the uh, Necrolite, but no such luck. But yeah, I was gonna do a video today and I had an idea for what I was gonna do and I didn't love it. And I was doing research on it like I usually do. And then I found the one where people were talking about how they data mined this information about the new quests. And I was like, ooh, so I went looking at them. I'm like, these look pretty legit. If these are fake, I'll do the story anyways. Cause they're just, it's that awesome. All right. we. Kill, all right. Interesting. He gets no value, but I don't know if we're big enough because of his cleave. Yeah, we're plenty big. That's lethal. Crap. All right. Not too shabby. Blood gems for the win. Oh, and we got the triple so we can make room. Thank you, Prof. Appreciate it. How you doing? It's a Murloc board. Well, if we use any of this, it's going to be Leroy. Uh, I want to keep the blood jumps on everything we have, except probably this guy. And now I'm fine just buffing my Quillbore again. He's plenty big, I think. If he's not big enough, well, we can always find some other blood gems to give him. Ooh, hold on. I definitely need to have some more love spread around this board, but feels pretty good. Do we have enough hard hitters to get through his scam? He's got a gold, so he gets to pull three cards out of his hand if we don't kill the Titus. He rips all of our taunts off, but we don't really care. One Venom down. Took out a big minion. Titus down, so he only gets two of those cards in his hand. Big cleave, though. Mm, not bad. Not enough. That's still lethal. All right. Top two, maybe. Maybe Silas lost to the dead guy, right? We can dream. No, Silas does not. Exactly. We managed to top ten it. We're just sitting here on tier four having fun. Like, I could go to five. I could pick up, uh, uh, there's a couple things I wouldn't mind having, but our board's kind of locked right now. It's a pirate board. This would be nice to kill the cleave. We guarantee we mess with his cleave if we do that. We know he's running a nice big cleave. We know he's got a bunch of blood gems. Just doing the same thing as us. I don't think I'm going to cycle anything, though. I think we're just going to keep what we have. Greedy or not, I think that's the play.
And let's face it, if this isn't big enough, the Blade Collector, nothing's going to be big enough. He knows we have a cleave. He might do the same counterplay we do. You're doing fantastic. He has two massive cleaves, but no shields other than that one, and I'm not overly concerned, but let's wait and see. Hit the cleave, hit the cleave, hit a cleave. No, it hit none of the cleaves. Look, it's still too small. It dies to our taunt, even if it hit the big taunt. There we go, folks. That's a huge lethal. Turn 14, well played, Silas. Hell yeah, George taking it home. First game of the night, Blood Gems giving plus six, plus three.